What's up, everybody? Welcome to the huddle. I'm Sophie Julia. This is Matt Demecki. What's up, everybody? So it's been a free agency frenzy all week, and some big name signings have been the quarterbacks to go off the board. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest was Kirk Cousins, who just signed with the Minnesota Vikings for $28 million a year. The Jets actually offered him $30 million a year, and he declined it because the Jets are losers, and he signed with Minnesota based only on his desire to win. <laughs> Do you think that Kirk Cousins is an overrated signing for the Vikings, or can he lead them to a Super Bowl? Well, first of all, I gotta give props to Kirk Cousins not going to the Jets because, like you said, that's a smart move. He didn't go to the Jets, but <laughs> I think that I feel like we're overvaluing Kirk Cousins right now, and for a good reason because the market—it's basically the market calling. He's the best quarterback on the market. But in terms of a quarterback, like in terms of a top 10 quarterback, I don't think Kirk Cousins is a top 10 quarterback. I don't think he's going to lead Minnesota to a Super Bowl. At least this man doesn't even have a playoff win. We criticize all these other quarterbacks that don't have playoff wins. Can we start criticizing Kirk Cousins? No, I think he possibly Why? can. The team's already really good. Case Keenum wasn't the sole reason they went so far last year. They lost he right He played before. lights out, though, all season long. Mm -hmm. Obviously, except the NFC Championship game, but he... All season long last year, he played like he deserved a contract. I think they should have kept Case Keenum I on think, a cheaper deal. I think Kirk Cousins is better than him. And, you know, they lost one game shy of a Super mm -hmm. Bowl last year. They have mostly all of those pieces still in place. And Kirk's like a very good guy. He's talented. He's regimented. And they, yeah. said, they said he's so regimented that they went to take him for a celebratory steak after he signed. And he wouldn't go to a steakhouse because he's on the Tom Brady diet. Oh, man. Getting better, look, getting lean, getting fit. Look, I don't hate Kirk Cousins or anything, but if you had a chance to keep uh, keep Case Keenum on a cheaper deal than what you're going to give Kirk Cousins, because they're going to pay him $90 million. He has $90 million guaranteed over the next three seasons. That almost makes Minnesota, like, they basically have to win a Super Bowl these next three seasons, or this deal's a failure. Because you could have kept Case Keenum on a cheaper deal. You could pay all your other guys on defense, so you had that continuity for the next like three, four, five years of uh, of their of their team. But when you have Kirk Cousins, you're basically strapped for three years and it's basically Super Bowl or bust now. Well, I don't it think could Kirk work Cousins, out. It could work out. You think he can lead them to a Super Bowl? Yeah, he might. They have a lot of good players on that team. And Kirk Cousins is I, a I just guy. don't believe in Kirk Cousins. I feel like Kirk Cousins is that guy. He's the definition of a roller coaster. He last year he beat the Rams in LA. Uh, he beat the Seahawks in Seattle. And then he loses like I think they lost to the Chargers last year, but he had bad losses last year. But I, don't, I just never believe in Kirk Cousins, though. Well, maybe He's such Kirk a roller Cousins, coaster. Maybe he will surprise you. I actually have a funny story. I that, saw him in Minnesota, uh -huh. and he, we, it was at a party for Super Bowl, and everyone was like decked out with their chains and dancing. And Kirk like, was wearing khakis, and he was just bopping <laughs> along to the music. Like, no he playoff like a dad. wins. Oh my God. <laughs> no. he's, he's steady. All right, so since it's Friday, we're going to do our L's of the week, the person or team or whatever that took the biggest loss this week. Matt, you go first. No, I'll let you take it, actually. All right, go fine. I'm going to go, go first. I already did this story today. Yeah. University of Arizona, the team, the students, the fans, you guys had a rough year. Federal investigations, star players getting injured, a player suspended for PEDs, and then just as your hopes get up and, and you're playing great, you get crushed in the first round of the tournament by Buffalo. People had them winning the whole thing. I know, and now your top four players are heading to the NBA, so... Thoughts and prayers, Wildcats. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Miles, I'm going to have to go with O.J. Simpson. O.J. Simpson, I don't know if you guys heard this week. O.J. Simpson <laughs> said that Colin Kaepernick, um, that he didn't have a right to sit for the flag or protest for the flag. And I'm just thinking in my head, I'm like, dude, for real? Like, you're going to be the one <laughs> saying that? He's the last person that should be saying anything. So he gets my L for this week. All right, that's a good one, Matt. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning into the huddle. We'll see you all on Monday.